first thing we need to understand is that faith is belief. The, the word that Paul uses here, and which is used consistently throughout the New Testament, is a word that means to have a firm persuasion. It's a form of the word that means to hold on to something with confidence. We see that in Hebrews when we read in chapter 11. Now, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. A few verses later, he writes, And without faith, it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. So that definition gives us a clue about what we are to believe. Obviously, the kind of faith that is described here and which Paul refers to in Ephesians cannot just be any belief. When missionary John Patton was translating the scriptures to a group uh, of people in Southeast Asia, he found himself in a tough situation. There was no word in their vocabulary for belief. There was no word in their vocabulary for trust or to have faith. He had no idea how, how to convey that message as he's translating the scriptures so that the people that he was translating to would understand it. One day as he was in his hut translating, a native came running up fast up the stairs. He, he fl- uh, flopped himself into his uh, patent study chair. And then he said, it's so good to rest my whole weight in this chair. <laughs> 